Home Affairs Minister Siabonga Kwele says his department is closely monitoring the Bait Bridge border post in light of the violent protests in Zimbabwe. So far, Home Affairs says there has been no increased activity at any South African points of entry. Home Affairs says it's keeping a close eye on developments in Zimbabwe. The landlocked neighboring nation has been hit by waves of violent protests sparked by the announcement of a fuel price hike. Home Affairs wants to manage any possible migration to South Africa as a result of the protests. We have a schedule which is planned and we'll try and expedite this schedule. Zimbabwe is priority number one, Mozambique, Lesotho. So we'll continue with those engagements, but uh, as I've said, our officials are in constantly monitoring this situation. Uh, so that we can deal with it. But the, 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 the major project is that one which is led by the government of engaging the Zimbabwean government to assist them to create stability. Home Affairs has a contingency plan in place, including increasing staff at the border. The situation in Zimbabwe has not really affected us in, in any way, shape or form. Uh, but I think, as the minister had said, that uh, we do have some contingencies Although not enough capacity, but if there is a need that we need to respond to a situation, we should be able to. Meanwhile, the department says it has recorded an increase in travelers' movements this past festive season. A top nationalities cleared at the South African ports of entry include SADC countries such as Mozambique, Lesotho and Zimbabwe. Sipo Sturman, SABC News, Pretoria.